You guys have been asking us to take our cars to the track more often for so long. We've seen so many comments about it and I'm happy to announce that we finally have structured a deal with Barona Speedway here in California, right outside of San Diego. And we are gonna be bringing our cars to the racetrack every single month. Let me show you guys inside and show you what it's all about. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Most of us have a reset button we want to hit on the start of the year, and HelloFresh is here with robust recipes to help you do that. If you're like my family, where one of us has to try to wrangle both of our kids at the grocery store and uh, keep them in line while getting the ingredients that we need for our recipes, that's a hassle you can totally skip with HelloFresh. They can drop all the ingredients for those robust flavors and recipes that you want on your doorstep, and you can skip the hassle at the grocery store. One of the nice things about HelloFresh is that they have so much more than just single meals. We have Super Bowl coming up, and they actually have recipes for like main course snacks like they have beef spare ribs they even have stuff like desserts you can get uh, chocolate chip brownies and things like that you can host based on HelloFresh as well that's pretty cool I think another myth that uh, people have about ordering from HelloFresh is that it gets expensive it's actually 25% cheaper than ordering takeout or going to a restaurant and ordering something to go and it is cheaper than the grocery store as well because everything is pre-measured there's a lot of waste in picking up these big bulk ingredient items and then using maybe 75% of it and having to throw the, the rest of it away as it goes bad or as you just don't use it. Something like this where you're using absolutely everything that they send you and it's already thought out, it's already cut, measured, and you just put in the packets or you put in the portions that they give you, it ends up being cheaper in the long run. Boom, done. Now this only took me about 10 or 15 minutes to cook. It is crazy how much time HelloFresh saves me. If I were to try to do this on my own trial and error recipe, try to think up this kind of dish, it would have taken me at least an hour. So that is an insane amount of time that it saved. If you want meals like this made on a daily basis that are portioned right, taste great, and are actually healthy for you, join HelloFresh by going to hellofresh.com and using the promo code THROTTLE21. That's gonna get you 21 free meals and free shipping. That's right. 21 free meals and free shipping by going to hellofresh.com and using the promo code THROTTLE21. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, so here we are on the main grandstands here at Perona, right in front of the eighth mile drag strip. Now you guys have seen us race here several times before, so we'll roll a couple clips. You guys can see some of the stuff we've done. But this is where we're gonna be doing most of our testing for next year. It's a great drag strip. Um, it's so close to the shop, which makes this place super accessible. And we can come out here whenever we install new parts or whenever we get a new car and really put down some baseline numbers on it. The other thing that is really cool about Barona is that we're hoping that we can actually throw some events here this year and invite you guys out to the track and bring you guys along for the ride. Maybe you guys can bring your cars here as well and race them against the throttle cars. I think that'd be cool. So if you guys wanna see something like that, please drop a comment in the comment section below. All right, so here we are at a open lot. And this, I think we have something really special we're gonna try to do with. We're gonna try to create a course or a track that we can come back to every time that not only has a road course portion, but also leads into the drag strip. We'll set up cones, we'll make a course. So let's show you guys what that looks like. What's really cool is I think there's actually enough tarmac here to actually do some lightweight drifting as well. So maybe some Manji stuff or yeah, you know, I, J turns I, and like you practice out here I, easily. I envision we get a bunch of cones. We use the aerial footage that we have and we come up with some type of course. It may take a couple iterations oh, right, to get it sure. to figure out, but there's quite a bit of space up here to do some stuff up here, loop around. Maybe you could even potentially do it twice, I'm not sure. Yeah, but the key is gonna be to making sure we can recreate it every time we come here so we yeah. can actually keep lap times. Yeah, so we'll actually have like a leaderboard. We'll be able to pit the Supra against the Viper, against the Eclipse, against the Civic, all those different things, and really try to see what is the best well-rounded car on the track. You know what else would be cool is that we could also invite other people to come out here. Yeah. If you guys wanna see specific people come race on our course, please drop them in the comment section 
tag them below. Let's get some people out here. I was even telling them. I, I agree, but you're getting a little ahead of yourself. We need to figure out how we're gonna lay this out first. And we also need to come up with a cool name. I agree, I like that. <laughs> so we've reached the end of section one and we have a turn here. So depending on how we lay this out, this could get a little bit hairy, Mickey. I mean, I can see this being even maybe even a high speed turn where you could actually get the car a little sideways through here, which is pretty neat. It's, it's way bigger than I remember because every time I've been here has been on drag nights with Greg busy. and yeah. there's trailers and, and RVs parked in here. And so it looks really small, but man, when it's emptied out, this is a lot of open pavement for us to really use for whatever we want. All right, so I got one key component that we have yet to talk about too much, which is after this road course version, I envision we come up with like a pit lane. So we have a pit lane that starts, let's say at a cone, maybe 200 yards out, and it sets you a maximum speed of let's say 10 or 15 miles an hour. You have to drive through the pit lane and you drive up through the staging lane on the eighth mile track, and then right when you hit the lights, you get to go. Yeah. So the portion of this circuit race includes a drag race, kind of like a rolling start. I, guess, I almost feel race. like it could be like a stop and go. Oh, you could do that too. Like you so, have to stop at the tree. So we would need to put like a speedo that people can read that measures the speed of your car. And you have to be under 10 miles an hour as you roll through this certain area, yep. come to a complete stop at the water box yep. and then mash it down the eighth off. mile. And that's the end. The finish line and is that, the finish line yes. of the, the race. We can keep going down this way. This is pretty much a mirroring of this, just lower elevation. The asphalt looks good. I don't know. I just think a lot of cool potential. Yeah, no, I mean, really options are endless. It just comes down to how, how creative we are. And I, I actually really like that little rock space right there. That'd be a cool place for the one, two, three podium. Yeah, hey, yeah that's doing. freaking cool. Yeah. I like that. Dude. Like it just kind of shapes this place right up. It, the rocks. It's funny, when I first walked out here, you know what the, the first thing I thought of when I saw those barrels? It's too fast, too furious when they go around the barrel at the end of the track. I mean, now you need a little hydro action, but that would be pretty rad. You know, I have an interesting idea. We could take the aerial shot and make it a JPEG, and we could actually let you guys help us design the course, which would be pretty cool. Are any of you guys car, car uh, track designers out there? There's know. gotta be a lot of science <laughs> and stuff behind it, I'm sure. And you wanna know the best part of all about this? They have a concession stand and they serve ice cream. <laughs> Maybe we could bring the ice cream truck out here too. <laughs> the last thing to do is maybe get you guys in the car, in the Supra with Ricky, go for a ride and kind of get a feel for the, the eighth mile strip and then also the return lap that there is here, the turn, return lane. So I'm gonna go get some ice cream, yeah, yeah. you can wrap it up. <laughs> Just kidding. Where's he going? Where's he going? <laughs> All right, let's get you in the car with Ricky. We'll go for a little ride in the 1,000 horsepower Supra and that'll be the end of today's episode. All right, well, we were gonna take the Supra, take you guys along for the ride in that, but that episode's going live in just a couple days, so we decided to bring out this fancy mobile right here. Anthony's SVT Focus is here. Ricky, you're taking it down? Yeah, yeah, Ricky brought this today, so we might as well take it. I've never driven it, so <laughs> let's go. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, how big the space is that we're gonna have to do what we want. And I honestly, like, I feel like it's plenty big to do some pretty cool, like, cone course stuff so we could really slalom through here like oh yeah yeah Ricky said it's hella low yeah she's pretty low I don't think I would be doing a slalom course in this car but there's like plenty of room to do a lot in here a little bumpy in some some areas so we're gonna definitely have to like pick our battles with where we want to actually put the turns oh man this is gonna be so good See us doing like a little chicane through here. A little high speed area. We could do a hard right right here back down the uh, entry gateway through here. Full on straightaway. We we'll probably have to put a chicane. Oh, they closed the gate. We're gonna have to go through that gate. So we would need to have that open so we could come back through here and then hit this drag strip. My idea is to come through the staging lane straight through as a, as a straightaway to a hard braking area, to a stop, to a drive through at the, uh, 
here at the um, basically in the water box so because this bump here is pretty bad uh, it's actually not that bad you could probably hit it at speed but I think we'll stop and then from here you can just mash it check it out it's really beautiful down here and the thing is is once you get off the track there's another eighth mile of straightaway so the reason this isn't a quarter mile track is they don't have enough room on the back end for the runoff um, for a quarter mile track. So they even have a wide area down here where we can actually turn around and actually hit the uh, uh, return road, which on all honesty, this return road is a little rough. So I'm not sure we're gonna be able to use this, but we could try. There's a little bit of water here too. So definitely not, uh, not ideal but we might be able to integrate it somehow it's a big property it's a, it's a lot of paved areas um, and who knows if this goes really well maybe we'll even put a skid pad or something out here at some point that ideally would be what I would want because with a skid pad we can kind of set up whatever we want and there is a lot of open land out here so maybe that's an option I don't know we will have to find out but the excitement around this for all of us is um, is a lot honestly like we're all really 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 wanting to get going with this because we we don't have a place to test the cars we, we really want to be doing things right and we want to be able to hand these cars off fully tested to people not that they haven't been tested in the past but uh this will allow us to really be able to put them through the paces and you know see if there's any rubbing on the fenders or if we're having temperature problems like that stuff that we don't re we're not really able to find out right now and, and uh allow us to actually get the cars a little more set up All right, so some of you guys may have seen on our second channel, Throttle Clips, that we've actually expanded our office and our shop space, and TJ Hunt will be moving out. So I wanna give you guys a little tour in case you haven't seen that video, and show you guys what the current status is of the new office, it's turning out really cool, and I am very excited to move in there finally. Let's go over there. Welcome to new HQ. We got Bob the Builder in here. What's up, boy? Watch your step. That's wet. Be careful. Oh, you harvest this? Yeah. yeah. Damn, Ricky. It's all uh, stained and clear, and we can spill drinks now and then. Once or twice. <laughs> so, this is for the kitchen. <laughs> so, this area here is our new lobby or entrance way. We're going to have a whole merch display on the wall right behind you guys. We're going to have a wheel wall here with tons of wheels and car parts on the wall. A little sitting area. This is going to be over here. Some chairs, coffee table, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, um, yeah, let me show you the rest of the place. So straight ahead here is our conference room. Everything's still under construction, as you can see. Conference table in here, chairs, TV on the wall so we can have our meetings. So this is going to be our new kitchen area. So this is the countertop that Ricky's making right now. It's gonna make a bar height countertop on this side. We got some bar stools right here um, and on this side is going to be like cabinets and you know not really cooking stuff but stuff that we can have for like a, a break room and all that kind of stuff there's a bathroom over there a uh, little sink in here is going to be our editing room so we'll have our whole editing and uh, photography team in here kind of in their own room with closed door now so that way we can close all the windows we can do some cool premieres in here and these guys will have uh, I would say a quiet space to do what they need to do. So with video editing and photo editing and all that kind of stuff, you gotta be in an area where you can focus and concentrate. And right now there's a lot of activity going on and there's a lot of loud noises that happen in the shop. So um, this is gonna be a much better place. So hopefully the videos get even better for you guys. Uh, moving on, we've got just a couple of offices here. There's nothing in them. Just a blank office for now. We'll put a desk and some stuff. Uh, and then, as you can see here, we had a hole cut through from one unit to the next. So they're still not done with this. There's going to be a nice drywall and it's gonna be like a nice hallway all the way through. This will be blocked off, this will be an office. This is our current VIP fulfillment area. Um, this will be moving. Um, and then we're here, back in the office. So a lot of this stuff's gonna be cleaned out. We're thinking about maybe making this area here a backdrop for maybe something like a throttle podcast or uh, for different types of product reviews and that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be cool. So the other really exciting thing is that we have a lot more shop space because TJ is gonna be moving out. So let me show you that. So right now we share this, this whole shop with TJ Hunt. 
he has this lift here and everything to this side is technically TJ's. So effectively everything on this side will be gone and this will now be throttle area. So we're gonna get two additional lifts. We have a ton more space, a lot more room for activities over here. And as well as this kind of weird um, parts mountain, this will also be gone. So more parking spaces. We have some cool ideas for this area as well, kind of making it feel a little bit more like a studio, I think. So we can make way nicer thumbnails, just cleaner content and uh, very, very excited about that. So lots more space in the shop, lots more office space, a cool little lobby area. I am very excited. What do you guys think? Please drop us some comments in the comment section below. So that's all the time we have for you guys in today's video. I am very excited about the new track, very excited about the new office. I'd love to see your support in the comment section below. So please blow it up, toss a lot of likes on this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.